we'll start with lithium. The metal floats on the water and reacts with it, giving off hydrogen gas. Now for sodium. The same sort of thing happens, although the reaction is a bit more vigorous. All the alkali metals react with water in the same way. Now for potassium. This time you'll see a flame. The heat given out by the reaction is produced so quickly that the hydrogen gas catches fire. It burns with a lilac flame. The next element is rubidium. This time we put a safety screen between us and the reaction. You can see that things gradually become more terrifying as we go down the group. Let's try cesium, our fifth alkali metal. This is cesium, and this is rubidium. And they're part of a special class of elements called alkali metals. Now, what makes them special is they have one electron. Now, normally, what they want to do is react with other things and give up that electron. Now, what happens when the alkali metals react with water is they release a lot of heat, and the other byproduct is hydrogen gas. And the heat tends to ignite the hydrogen gas. It's a perfect storm of something that causes an explosion. We're flushing the toilet, and to blow up the bathtub, we're stretching the budget and moving into the realm of ridiculous by using a massive two and a half kilograms of sodium. You ready to do this, Grant? I'm ready to do it. And to accommodate the two and a half kilograms okay. of sodium... Okay, all right, let's run. Carrie has adapted her guillotine. She's added a sledgehammer, which means there's only one thing left to do. Find out for the fans if supersizing the sodium will blast the bathtub. All right, this is sodium. In three, two, one. Uh, while the team holds its breath, let's check out the replay. That was incredible. Yep, spectacular. But it only caused a crack. The tub didn't disintegrate. So, how about taking it up a notch? Like Christmas. That was amazing. But up next is potassium, which is even more reactive. And, yep, same amount. Uh-huh, two and a half kilograms of potassium. Take it away. School lab chemistry like you've never seen it before. Okay, we're good. Let's go. But will it provide the big boom we and you have been waiting for? Two, one. Once again, it's an exciting chemical reaction, but it's still not high explosives. <laughs> so, in conclusion, you can use ridiculous amounts of sodium and potassium. You can use the more reactive elements in the alkali metal family, but you won't get a hand grenade-sized explosion and blow up a bathtub unless you use C4, like this. All right, J.D., in three, two, one. We may not have had hand grenades, but at least we still have good chemistry.